Hello everyone, Boris from Lab 107 here. This is actually our first video where we will explore new technologies, make new things and uh, disassemble existing one. For this first occasion I'm gonna tackle on my Christmas present. It is actually Razer base station Chroma. It's a headset stand which has three USB ports and that's pretty much it. What I'm missing in this uh, headset stand is this area here. I would like to make this part QI charger for my phone. So I rest my phone over there and it will charge. For this occasion I bought on eBay a very cheap charger, wireless charger. The link is in the description. So let's begin. Start the disassembly by peeling layer by layer from the bottom of the base station. You should be a bit careful not to break any plastic parts because they are very firmly glued together. After you peel off the final layer you can find four screws that you unscrew to open the base. Here you should be extra careful because the LEDs on top are attached to the controller board with this white cable strip. There is a latch on the base that you simply lift off and the cable should simply fell off there. There are four more screws for the control board. Also be a bit careful because your screwdriver might slip and damage some of the components on the board and it may render it useless. You can see that the cable is still firmly attached but there is no any screws or glues. You just lift it off. Underneath there is a metal base that kind of serves no purpose. I think of it maybe it could be a, some weight for the balance however if it were a weight it would be positioned lower in the base station this is near the top when you unscrew this plate you can actually see a chamber which kind of looks like that it was intended for something else maybe maybe it really was a QR charging yet to be maybe next version so that's it and uh, we can see actually some wires which we'll use for power supply for our QI charger there is still a top cover you can see four flaps which you just need to push in after you take off the cover, drill just two small holes on top, which will be used for wiring. Well, it happens. I kind of fried my wireless charger, so I bought a new one from the store. It's very cheap, less than 20 euros. And I will disassemble this one and use it uh, for the charger. Uh, maybe at this point I, I might warn you that you will lose any warranty you might have on the Razer base station as well on wireless charger. The conductive plate 
for the coil is kind of glued to the control circuit and you should be very careful uh, with detaching those uh, so you don't break uh, the plate which is kind of very brittle. So what I'm gonna do now is desolder those two connecting wires from the coil. And remember those two holes that I drilled, I will use them for the wires. So I'm gonna match the orientation just for this case. I'm gonna solder it right now because this circuitry is going to be from the inside of the base station so if I put the cover well unfortunately it is too thick might remove the glue part layer I'm not sure it's going to be enough because it is too thick and the top cover doesn't uh, fully close there's some space over it I will cut the base station so widen the hole the hole is bigger now I'm gonna use a hot glue just to glue glue the coil plate to the edges so we need to tackle the power source I'm gonna use the USB cable that actually came from the wireless charger This is the main circuit board. You can actually see a connector, which I think it was uh, intended for wireless charging. The voltage across those two is five volts, which is exactly what I need for the charger. So I'm gonna solder the black wire to the black wire and the red wire to the red wire. I'm just gonna put some uh, isolating tape over it, just in case it doesn't get in contact. So everything kind of looks like in this base station plus this chamber and those two wires, the, the connector, it kind of looks like this is a first version, version of the product and the next version might actually have the wireless charger uh, on top. Well, maybe it will. And now I'm isolating the base covers and all of the components with anti-static plastic foil. And now retach the LED part. This is a bit tricky because there's not enough space for the fingers. Of course, I did test the QI charger. It works, now the light works. And I'm gonna put the final four screws for the base. I should put um, those white plastic foils, which kind of serve as a light guide. This is the final version, it looks pretty much the same as before, plus it now has a wireless charger for phones. There, it works. And that's it. I hope you liked the video and my new stand. If so, please comment in the comment section and see you soon.